I want to welcome you, Elise and Tom. It is so nice for you to come and have this conversation with me. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you thank for you. having us, Mickey. I'd like to start out. I, I have heard you speak, and both of you have this amazing passion. You've got this intensity for retirement planning. Why? Where does that come from, Elise? Well, when you look at retirees today, the, one of the top concerns that they have is running out of money. And we've got a powerful solution that addresses that very concern. And there's been numerous times where I've been in a client situation and we show, for example, joint lifetime income to a husband and wife. And you just see the flash of peace of mind that that provides to the surviving spouse knowing that through this solution, not only are they going to be taken care of when they're both alive, but she will also be taken care of when and if you know something should happen to him. So it's just such a powerful solution that can be used in so many different ways. And even if it's just to provide a supplement to retirement income, it addresses one of their top concerns. Do you ever have this kind of disbelief when you tell them that it can do all these things where, where they go kind of, it sounds too good to be true? Yes, in fact, there are many times that clients say, are you sure this is right? Am I really getting this much more income? Because if you look at alternatives today, CDs, for example, earning 1%, and so many retirees are trying to live off of just the interest. So when we can show them that they can receive triple, if not quadruple, the amount of income off of this lifetime income annuity, they're just amazed and, and so surprised. But it's, it's absolutely true. Yeah. Tom, what about you? Where does your passion come from? Well, Miggy, I think passion always comes from knowing something, not just up here, but knowing it down here. And, and I think Elise and I know retirement income down here. And when you know it to your core, then you can get passionate about something. See, I know that based on math and science, this is the optimal solution for clients that they should cover their basic expense with guaranteed income and then optimize the portfolio and if you know that to your core then you have a passion for it and when you've seen it work and when you've done the research the math the science is clear you know PhDs like Moshe Malevsky and da David Babel and Menachem Yari they've proven this so this is not somebody's opinion and, and when it's when it's fact and you know it down here I think then passion follows yeah and Tom you bring up a really important thing because I read a lot of stuff on retirement planning. I have a passion for it, but I get all the technical things, and then I want to go to my clients and give them all that technical stuff. So how do I stop doing that? Uh, the way I do it is keeping it simple, and I, I've, I've had four simple phrases. You know, what is a lifetime income annuity or SPI as many? It's a guaranteed paycheck for life. If somebody already has a guaranteed paycheck, then it's a guaranteed paycheck for life. Why should somebody buy one? Because it pays them mortality credits. How much should go in there? At least enough to cover their basic expenses. What do you do with the rest of the money? Optimize the portfolio. So people really learn just four simple phrases. Uh, we've got the tech, we've got all the technical stuff to back it up. So if somebody says, well, I don't believe it's too good to be true. Oh, well, let me show you the Wharton research. Let me show you the Morningstar research. Let me show you the Ibbotson research. Let me show you the Vanguard research. Let me show you M Moshe Malevsky's work. Let me show you Menachem Yari's work. I can prove it with the technical, but that's not how we present it to a client. We keep it very simple, a guaranteed paycheck for life. And I absolutely believe and, and echo Tom's comments of keeping it simple. I actually love to relate it to what they're most familiar with, Social Security and pension income. Asking them what they like about Social Security and pension income, they'll inevitably say, I love it because it's guaranteed. It's income I can count on. It comes every month. And, you know, should something happen to me, my spouse, you know, will receive it. And what we do is we then say, okay, what don't you like about that? Social Security and pension income. And no matter where I travel across the country, the number one answer is it's simply not enough. I wish that it were more. And it doesn't keep up with inflation. So we've talked about what they like about Social Security and pension income and what they don't like about it. And when you think about the value proposition that lifetime income offers, it does everything that Social Security and pension income does well, and it addresses everything that it doesn't do well. That's great. I, I would think of the what do you like about it side, but I never thought of the what you don't like about it side. That's a really good point. Now you have in, I don't know, a, a very short period of time uh, delivered tons of usable transferable ideas, but I want to ask you to pick, pick an idea that you know that you have passed along to other producers that they really ran with and loved. 
Hands down, number one idea is the RMD Max idea. Whether it's a new agent coming into the industry or if it's a top of the table agent, the number one idea that resonates is the RMD Max idea because we're focusing on clients who are turning 70 and a half and they must begin taking the required minimum distribution. Because as you know, if they don't take it, it's a 50% penalty. Right. So we show a way that they can roll that IRA into a guaranteed lifetime income. And in most cases, we double or in many cases triple the income, maximize that for the rest of their life, and that income automatically fulfills the IRS RMD requirement. Well, I can see why too, because I know when my clients turn 70 and a half, they've spent a whole lifetime feeling like they shouldn't spend principal, and all of a sudden they have to take it out. So giving them an alternative, something to talk about, I think is a really good thing as well. Okay. Mickey, let me add a couple points to that. Number one, okay. you know, the best 10 years of their life is going to be the next 10 years. And, and the RMD, they take out a little and then they're saving it till they're 90. It doesn't make sense. And I also tell clients, you know, what did you save this money for? You did not save this money to give to your kids. You saved it for your retirement. Well, guess what? You're in retirement. You told me you were going to play golf. You're going to get a new boat. You were going to go on vacation. You're going to take an Alaskan cruise. You're going to travel the world. Well, what happens? People don't spend their money. They don't spend their money. They don't spend their money. They don't spend their money. <laughs> what happens? They die. Well, then where, where does the money go? To their kids. So now their kids go on the Alaska cruise. The kids buy the boat. The kids, and they never use the money for what they saved it for. I say, look, you're not getting any younger. You can't take it with you. If you want it, if you don't want it, then give it to your kids while you're alive. Why do we wait till we die to give money to kids? Give it to them while they're alive. And so it's just a very efficient way. I, I would also add this. The most important idea, I think, is covering basic expenses because that will help every retiree retire the right way. The, the, the number one selling one is the RMD Max. The most popular one is that grandparent-grandchild that I, that I discuss in the workshop. Oh, I love your grandparent-grandchild one. So when the people see it after we finish our conversation, they're going to really love it that is it's perfect and I can't name all mine now either. and then, then, then look at the estate planning one where we take a 20 million dollar taxable estate turn it into a 35 million dollar tax-free estate just like that these are simple ideas I know it's amazing now tell me because you guys do this dueling sales ideas so you're kind of fighting for who's got like the very best idea but is there something that you guys disagree about? I mean, philosophically about any of this stuff, is there something that you disagree about? So, so Mickey, let me take that one. Um, Elise and I have worked together for 15 years. We can literally complete each other's sentences. Like, she will know what I'm thinking before I think it, and I'll know what she's thinking before she thinks it but but here's the funny thing you know as we moved up and Elise reported to me for a number of years and I can't tell you how many times we'd be in a conversation I'd stop and I say wait a minute now who's the boss of who here <laughs> so she is she is very confident and she's demanding and she's a great manager and uh, I've got nothing but great things to say about Elise. I can't think of a real major disagreement yeah, we've and, ever had. Yeah, and I'd have to say the same thing about Tom. I mean, you've seen him present, you know, from the platform, and he's a well-renowned industry speaker, and he makes the ideas simple, and that's, you know, the message that he shares with agents across the country. He translates these technical ideas into just simple ideas that they can translate out in the field. So I would agree with Tom. You know, when I think about anything that we disagree with, there really isn't anything. Yeah that we disagree with. Well, I think that you both have that wonderful gift of simplifying things, and it makes such a difference. What do you think is one of the most missed opportunities that some of us have when we're out talking to people about either estate planning or retirement planning? So let's talk specifically about lifetime income. And one of the biggest misperceptions amongst agents, amongst clients and prospects is they don't know that there are withdrawal provisions available on these contracts. They think that if I put money in, I can't touch it. It's irrevocable. And the reality of the product today is there are many withdrawal provisions that give clients access to money. And I think that's really important to know because that objection in itself could, you know, be a difference whether or not the agent makes the sale or not. There's there's withdrawal provisions that allows a client to accelerate payments up to six months. There's even provisions in the contract that allows a client to take up to a hundred percent of the present value of the remaining payments and if the client is alive after a certain period it resumes the income I mean it really is an incredible benefit that's built into contracts today that many clients don't realize is actually available that's great yeah Tom so Mickey from my point of view let me take it a little broader and I would say 
a lot of financial advisors are missing the power of guarantees. If you think about it, when the market crashed, you had some agents who then the next three years had the best years they've ever had in their entire lives, and you had some agents who had the worst years of their entire lives. What was the difference? The agents who had the best years of their lives aligned themselves with financially strong organizations, and they went out and talked about the guarantees, that guarantees matter. Whole life insurance was one of the best investments over the past 20 years. Think about that. Um, the fixed annuities, variable annuities with living benefits that people made fun of for years. All of a sudden, when the market crashed, they weren't making fun of it anymore, and the financially strong organizations organizations were not having financial issues. Um, Seeking Alpha, I, I keep referencing this website, but it's a great website. Here's what they said. They said there are no more guarantees, only guarantors. And that kind of struck me. There are no more guarantees, only guarantors. And what that means is the guarantee that's issued is only as good as the company issuing it. So you got to align yourself with financially strong organizations, but then sell the guarantees because guarantees matter in times like this. That is absolutely perfect because you're right. I, I never think about the guarantors. And as a producer, how do you know? How do you know for sure? I mean, there's some really strong companies, not necessarily just insurance companies, but strong companies that we would not have thought wouldn't survive, and they didn't. But, but there were hints on all of those. Like, you know, in the annual report, they weren't properly diversified. They had concentrations in things that really were not their area of expertise, and they were getting involved in these CDOs and these loans. And, and you can tell that by reviewing the annual report. And then did the ra some of the rating agencies maybe drop the ball? They maybe did. But I'll tell you this. Those were the midterm exams. We've now had the finals. And the rating agencies have come down very hard on everybody. And so I would say the ratings today, they matter. They do matter. And that you can dig into the financial reports and, and take a look and, and look at, if you have multiple rating agencies that give somebody a high remark, you know, that's probably a, a pretty good sign. Yeah. Okay. Elise, if you could give just one piece of advice, just one, share one piece of wisdom with me and with the person listening, what would it be? I would say use the lifetime income annuity at a minimum to cover basic expenses. To fill the gap where Social Security and pension income is simply not providing it. Because by doing so, it enables a client to be investing that the rest of those dollars with full confidence that they wouldn't have had if their basic expenses were not covered. So use that lifetime income annuity to, at a minimum, cover the basic expenses. And one question that resonates best is asking clients, how much of that retirement income do you want guaranteed? That's a great question. Very good. Okay, Tom. Mickey, I'm going to give you three for one. All right. Okay. Here's what I would say. I would say, number one, know who you are. See, like, I always feel like I know who I am and, and what I am and what I do well and what I don't do well. I believe every person has one thing that they do better than anybody else. you got to find that. What is the one thing that you do better than anybody else? When you follow that passion, and then if you can keep your ideas simple. So know who you are, be authentic. Number two, follow, follow your passion. And number three, keep your ideas simple. If, 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 if people would follow those three simple things, they're going to have great success and accomplish all their dreams. That's wonderful. I just love you guys. Thank you so much for <laughs> Thank sharing you, so you. many great ideas. Thank you.